Hey, Bubba Tech here, also known as Oki Tools, and I'm doing another uh, disassembly, lubrication, and reassembly video of a vintage ratchet. Uh, this is a half inch drive Thorson model 77C, and I do believe this is, uh, I don't know how vintage it is, but it is vintage because the original Thorson isn't even in business anymore, the guys who made it. So I uh, picked this up at one of my favorite pawn shops I go to as a set with a, not in its original set, but it, as a group of uh, tools that I bought from them, a couple different ratchets. And uh, I'll be putting those on here uh, as I go. So uh, this is going to be the video on it for disassembling, lubing it, and reassembling. So it uses a split ring to hold it in place and it has a little notch right here uh, that takes it off so you go ahead and hook that little notch and then you build it up like this and it comes off right easy and there's your split ring and then it just comes out the back end like so and it stays together as one unit which I kind of like it doesn't have a uh, selector uh, knob that comes off on its own so uh, the what you're seeing there isn't dirty or anything it's some uh, CLP that I sprayed in there to uh, get it all cleaned up try to get some of that excess off and uh, try to get it all cleaned up and lubed up because I have trouble getting my uh, lubricant down in there that I like my lube that I like to use I have trouble getting it in there so I spray some of my uh, uh, some of the stuff that I use on my guns down in there to get it nice and lubed up so uh, this was, as they always are, real grungy when I bought it. So I'll have some before and after pictures. And I wish this had kind of cleaned up a little bit better than it did, but it is night and day compared to where it was. So uh, I'll have pictures for you there. So its design is, it uh, sometimes there's like lips in there and um, different uh, grooves and stuff that the, uh, you know, snap rings or split rings or whatever ride in. This is just the uh, big old honking uh grooves uh you know teeth uh all the way bored from one side to the other i mean it is they're huge teeth and very long and the whole the whole unit the whole head is a part of that and everything else all the grooves and stuff like that for the split ring and things are actually on the unit actually on the action and it is a uh, three teeth uh paw two paws and it works on a uh axle that's in there and a spring that moves it back and forth, a selector that moves a spring that moves it back and forth so uh, it's pretty cool design and uh, hadn't really seen one uh, you know other than Thorson's that are like that so it's pretty cool uh, I thought that's why I picked it up so um, I'll go ahead and get a little bit on my finger just a little bit will do you and uh, that's about it and I'll probably put some on three different points in there and then start rubbing it all around all the teeth and uh, uh, there's a lot of real estate in there uh, but I don't like to use a ton in the past I've used a ton and had to clean it back out a little um, just I guess me I don't think it was any problem it's just me I guess I prefer it's a little bit rather than a lot and uh, then get yourself a little bit here on your finger and get one paw and then swap it over and get the other paw just a little bit more and then whatever excess you have on your finger maybe a little bit off the side there put on here because that runs uh, all inside there and you'd see where those teeth make marks as it goes around so you want those nice and lubed up and like I said in past videos I usually don't take these apart um, I just don't care to uh, do that myself um, I might in the future I don't know they work pretty well from how I clean them up so uh, go ahead and put it back together and um, go ahead and drop it in there and then make sure depress your paw and then seat it and then flip it over and you go ahead and split your ring I can get it to split. Bear with me. Let's 
split your ring and get it on there and start working it around. And there you go. And that just sounds phenomenal from where it was when I first got it. That actually uh, wasn't that bad as far as, uh, as big as those teeth are and everything. It wasn't that bad, but cleaning it up made, and lubing it now made it that much better. So it is nice and smooth and just sounds great. So I'm going to take my rag here and get it good and cleaned off and close up my lube here. And that's about it. That was my, uh, I'll have some before and after pictures for you of how it was and then uh, to now. And so that was my video on the Thorson Model 77C half inch drive round head. Thanks for watching.